Today on the Happy House, it's St. Patrick's Day, and I'm going to show you an easy way to make one of my favorite Irish recipes. We'll do some fun St. Patty's Day crafts and learn an easy Irish jig. Later, I'll show you how to make these tasty rainbow floats. And of course, we have to fit in a four-leaf clover hunt. And the kids are excited when we find more than we bargained for. All right now on the Happy House. So why do I love St. Patrick's Day so much? It could be a few things. <laughs> it could be because my brother served a mission there for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. My family went to go pick him up and I wasn't able to go do that because I was over in Germany with Manuel. But a couple years ago, my younger sister surprised my older brother and his wife and they went on a trip back to Ireland and she brought back these earrings for me. Oh my goodness, you guys are so cute. I absolutely love them. Authentic shamrock earrings from Ireland. The best. <laughs> and maybe I love St. Patty's Day so much because my birthday is in March. But I think it's because it's in my DNA. My great, great, great grandmother on my mom's side of the family is from the Isle of Man and her father is from Belfast where my brother served his mission. I've also found Irish ancestors on my dad's side of the family, so I don't know if that's where I get my freckles from. <laughs> As of today, my updated DNA test shows no trace of Irish DNA. <laughs> As you can see, the closest thing is Scotland. I don't know what happened, guys. It used to be there. But I love Ireland, even though I've never been there, Sunday. And I love St. Patrick's Day. It's so much fun. And speaking of love. Okay, so there's two things I absolutely love making videos about. Besides my children and my family, <laughs> cooking and happy topics with gospel messages. Those are my favorite things. It's been way too long since I've made an episode of The Happy House. So today as I was making our St. Patrick's Day dinner, I just had this thought, I think I better record this one because I love making box tea. It's a delicious potato pancake and it's so easy to make, it's so filling. It's something that I only make once a year. I always make it for St. Patrick's Day. It's one of those staples that you can make work with anything. It's also super cheap to make. You can feed a lot of people with it. So overall, it's a great dish. Now I shared a box tea recipe in a past St. Patty's Day Happy House video. But this recipe I'm going to show you is way easier, way faster, and even more delicious. You're going to start with two cups of all-purpose flour. Then add one teaspoon of baking powder, as well as one teaspoon of sea salt. Blend it all together, set it aside, and in a new bowl, add one cup of mashed potatoes. This was great because I actually had some leftover in the fridge. Next, you're going to get out your food processor and you're going to grate two large gold potatoes. Add that to your mashed potatoes, stir it around, and then we're going to add in our dry ingredients. Mix that together well, and when it's ready, you're going to add one cup of buttermilk so that we can bind all the ingredients together. It should look like a sticky oatmeal at this point. Melt two tablespoons of butter in a frying pan or skillet, and then add handfuls of your dough. Or, if you don't like to get your hands sticky, you can use a measuring cup. Flip the patties until they're golden brown on both sides. If they look like your grandma's homemade pancakes, you've done it right. And there you have it. <laughs> so I've served this with some nice corned beef brisket, buttered cabbage, Irish soda bread, some of my favorite Irish cheddar cheese. And because we're gonna have some rainbow floats later on, we're just gonna have water with this dinner. What I love about box tea or potato pancakes is that you can get creative with them. You can be traditional and just serve them with sour cream and chives, sliced green onions, or, or you can put your favorite gravy over it. I like to use hollandaise sauce. You can melt cheese on it. You could treat it like a Navajo taco. <laughs> 
put beans and your favorite meat on it. You could do like a loaded potato or loaded fry sort of theme and top it with sour cream, crumbled bacon cheese, whatever you like. You can't go wrong. I love to take a traditional dish and put my own twist on it. It makes it so much more fun and delicious. So I'm excited you guys, tonight is activity days and we're having it at my house. It happened to fall on St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> so my house is already all decorated for St. Patty's Day. I thought it would be really fun if the girls taught my activity days girls how to Irish step dance. River dance, Irish step dance, it's all the same to me. <laughs> But my girls are cloggers, so this comes natural for them. So I've had Cambry watch a couple YouTube videos to learn the basics. And now that she has it down, she's going to teach us tonight how to do a basic traditional Irish step dance. Then we're going to do some nail art. And then I thought we would do some edible painting. I did this when Paisley was one years old for her birthday party. She wanted a rainbow birthday party. And so I made edible paint and we did rainbow toast. It's so easy to do and it's a lot of fun. I think the girls are gonna have fun tonight. To enhance these store-bought cupcakes, I'm just going to add some chocolate gold coins just to give them a little bit of bling. And now I think we're ready. I've colored the milk and now we're ready to paint. <laughs> St. Patty's Day isn't complete without trying to find a four-leaf clover. <laughs> I killed a spider today at recess. I saw one in the lunch and we did it was human, so I stopped it. <laughs> David, I can Four leaf clover, where are you? I see the Hey, see if you can find one. Will we find a three leaf clover? Will we find a five leaf clover? Um, that's very unheard of. Where'd we get If you got five leaf clover, that's one or and Scottish clan you're from. It has meaning. Did you know that? I wonder what clan you're wearing. What clan is Paisley wearing? <laughs> Gold. I just found one. <gasps> what? Let me see. Uh, that's what probably is so. Is that a quarter? That's so. It's Paisley. a quarter. You <laughs> found real treasure. That's better than a four leaf clover. <laughs> I found the one. I see, look. It has four. Four leaf clover. Oh, I found one. 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 Oh, I found
silver but see it has four mom i just found a four leaf it has three no it doesn't it has, it has four. four she's mom, right i found the four oh, leaf yay! dog you mom, won the prize mom i found four leaf clover <laughs> mom i found the four leaf clover but i dropped it you can dropped I, it can I, can I book process at home i want to find more yes. find one for your brother one. now find a second one for paisley okay i'll hold it for you so you don't lose it Find one for Paisley. Tatum, let me see it. Okay. okay, let me go look for it. Let me hold it, babe, so you don't lose it. Okay, you hold it short somewhere where it's safe. That's so cool. Yay. Look. Look, it's another one. See, it has four. Oh. Look, this one. Camry, you are so lucky. I then I mean a fourth one. One for Gabe. Did you know that my mom used to have a lab named Lucky? I found hey, another one. You guys, it hasn't even been six minutes. And you found how many did you find? Oh! No, I dropped it! Oh, you dropped it? I want more. How in the world? How do you guys do it? How do you do it? You guys are so lucky. We've been finding a lot, well they've been finding a lot of four leaf clovers. Usually they say it's rare to find a four leaf clover but it hasn't even been six minutes and we've already got, yeah, three, four, he dropped one. Oh, found another one. <laughs> okay, six, seven, eight, how many we got? You guys. Some Look lucky kids, I'm telling you. Look how perfect that is. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. They used to call me Lucky Lindsay when I was little. Lucky Lindsay. <laughs> Maybe I passed it on to my kids. So we had to get creative. There are clovers in here. Okay, what's the clover count? Five. That sounds perfect. You made a bookmark? Yes, with the um, four leaf covers I found. It says luck. So cute. Hold it up like this. I love it. With the light. And then you turn it around. The, you can see the four leaf covers. Oh. And this is the one Tatum yeah. made. Or you made this book. <coughs> I had four, Mom. thought for a quick after school snack we would have many shamrock shakes because Paisley texted me earlier today she said mom let's go find four leaf clovers today and let's go have shamrock shakes like we did last year so because we're having rainbow floats tonight I thought I would do a mini version of a shamrock shake for an after school treat start with three scoops of mint chocolate chip ice cream and put it in your mixer I'm gonna use my magic bullet and here's where you get to use your green milk at about one and a half cups. Next, add a fourth cup of heavy whipping cream. And now it's time to mix it. When you're happy with the consistency, go ahead and pour it into your cups. This makes enough for about four to six servings. What do you think? Is it good? He's got a milk mustache. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. After dinner, we decided to watch an Irish movie and we came across this cute animated movie that just came out this year called Riverdance. 
And you know, we really liked this movie until the talking animals came out. <laughs> Once it got to that point, everybody lost interest and the movie just kind of fell flat after that. But at least we had our rainbow floats to enjoy. This is just something I quickly threw together. It's so easy to do, so delicious, and the kids love it. All you need is rainbow sherbet and ginger ale. Fill your glasses halfway with sherbet and the rest with ginger ale. Squirt on some whipped cream and of course we love to add the rainbow airhead extremes. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.